Hey hunties, I hope you're all fan dandy and well wherever you are watching this in the world today. So let's talk about the uh, elephant in the room and I don't mean the fact that I'm fat and wearing grey. Uh, it's been a while. <coughs> uh, I've just consulted with my YouTube channel and my calendar and apparently it's been 27 weeks since I last did anything to do with makeup or drag or anything like that. Um, so my video today is kind of addressing the fact that I am okay. Uh, I know I've been missing in action for a little bit, but there is reason why, and that's what we're going to go into today. So without further ado, let's get started. So it's, like I said, it's been a while, and I don't... I have been fine. I honestly have been fine. And that's the truth of it. Um, I mean, it said the last time I posted was the 26th of April, uh, which is kind of a terrifying thought, to be fair. Like, I thought it was, I didn't think it was that long ago. I thought I was, I posted somewhere around June. And uh, unfortunately, or oh, evidently not, it's. It's one of those ones that's my, it's kind of my own, well, it's, it's not kind of my own fault, it is my own fault. But there have been life updates. I've, I turned 30 um, back in June. Uh, well, let's let's start where, back in April, let's give like a month by month. I really should have made notes for this idea. Um, so yeah, I, um, back in early to mid-May, one of my best friends left for pastures new um i moved up to scotland which kind of put me in a bit of a depression and uh, well not kind of it put me in a depression and it was something that took me quite a while to get out of if i'm honest um i didn't realize quite how much it had gotten to me until i i started to realize how much i'd put on hold in just day-to-day -day life like my makeup like everything like that and unfortunately it didn't get better i did take a bit of a nosedive i did struggle for a fair while but that that not got moved on from but that's something that i got used to and was able to work through and was doing better with my job better with my work and, yeah, that was kind of the start of all of this. And then I turned 30 and had some time off, which was always quite lovely. It's not nice being 30, by the way, in case you haven't hit that mark of your life yet. Um, <laughs> just FYI. Um, I had a lovely time away with my partner. Um, we are officially... In a relationship now. I don't know if I've said that in a previous video. I've got a partner, which is really lovely. His name's Kieran. He's a scouser. He's very sexy. Um, he looks after me, which is really lovely. Um, nothing much else to say on June, really. Uh, <laughs> it's a difficult one. Um, and then July and August call kind of blended into one usual summer takes over your life you want to spend as much time in the garden as possible uh had my th like i said had my 30th birthday had my time away and then august comes round and my partner kieran moves in with me how exciting that is uh, that was meant to be sincere that sounds so sarcastic uh it was actually um it is really sincere um oh I've I got uh, a new brush set bought for me for my birthday. Uh, they are Beauty Bay brushes, and I've never used them yet. So today, this is exciting, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to be using new brushes today, which is always quite exciting. Um, yeah, my friend Amy got me these. Um, I was like, who the frick got me these? It was Amy Boyg. I actually did get quite a few presents. Um, one of my friends, Sam, he... Uh, he got me a tiara, a mug that said, of a 30-year-old, me, and there was me dressed as a unicorn on a stripper's pole, because that was definitely me. And uh, and then a sash that said, 
uh, happy birth, uh, happy 30th birthday. And the note from Amazon um, was like, I want to see you wearing this and nothing else. So naturally I sent him a picture of me wearing just those things. Um, <laughs> thankfully, we have a very good friendship and he saw the banter side of it. So yeah, um, August comes round and my fella moves in with me. I'm living with a boy. How exciting that is. It's terrifying. I will give you that. It's absolutely terrifying, but it is exciting nonetheless. And that kind of took over a lot um, at that point of August, September, October, it's now November. Um, it's been getting used to living with somebody. It has been a struggle. I've lived alone for the last four years, so it was bound to be a struggle. I didn't think it was going to be that much of a struggle, but we've concentrated so much on making sure that we're okay and making sure things are okay for the house. It's just put so many things on the back burner. Like he's a bit of a musician. He hasn't played any of his instruments in a long time. It's literally been concentrating on him doing his uni stuff and him and me making sure the house is in good order for him moving in. So that's kind of the life update already out of the way. Um, I thought there was going to be more to say than that. <laughs> um, well, there is more. Um, bit of a depressing note. Uh, so yeah, started to get used to that. Uh, and then in September, I was away in Bournemouth and I got a phone call telling me that one of my friends had passed away, which caused a lot of struggles. And so the last time that I saw her, which is kind of why I've struggled and I'm going to struggle through today. Um, the last time I saw her, it was literally, she passed away on the Thursday. I saw her on the Sunday before that. And we were sat playing with makeup and we were um, we were planning on her coming around, not that weekend because she'd already had plans, but the weekend after and I was going to give her a full maker and I was going to put her into drag. And we'd already decided her drag name. Um, so she was a parachute jump instructor. Um, her name was Rachel, she's a beautiful human being. I will get a picture up hopefully somewhere in amongst this lot. Um, and yeah, so her drag name was going to be Drag Coefficient because that's a like a terminology that she used to use um, for parachuting. And yeah, we we had all these big grandiose plans and it was going to be great. And yeah, sitting down to do makeup, like every time I look at this desk, it just reminds me of her. So I was like, it's, it's taken me a long time to get to this point where, as silly as that sounds, it's taken me a long time to get to the point where I actually feel comfortable to sit here and not be worried that I'm doing something because uh, I feel guilty because I feel like I should be sad but then I feel like she would be angry with me if I didn't do this and she was like watching over me um so yeah it's it's been a struggle that's for sure um finally feeling in a position where I feel happy ish comfortable ish um, I'm on leave this week from work. Uh, my partner's actually on night shift, so it's, what time is it? It is 25 past seven at night, because that's the right time to start doing makeup look. But he's on night shift, so he's away uh, doing whatever he's doing in work. I don't know, he does engineering. Um, so yeah, I thought it would be the perfect time for me to sit down and actually play with makeup and just do something. Like, it's been so long. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, if I'm honest. I'm scared for my life here. Um, I haven't glued eyebrows down in, well, six months. So, Lord knows what's going to happen. Let's keep going. We can do this. I believe in me. That was sufficiently disgusting. I'm going to go with that's probably out of date. <laughs> I just like crumbled. Absolutely crumbled. No filter. I think this is a foundation brush. Oh, that's wet. I'm going to go with that's out of date. I'm not going to lie. Thing that isn't out of date, brand new foundation arrived today. Thank God. Well, I ordered it yesterday, so it should have arrived today. I've been low on this for a long time and making it last. 
Ah, oh, it's so good to have you back. Thank the Lord from above. I have good foundation again. Ah, oh, look at that coverage. Oh, it's beautiful. If it isn't a foundation brush, it is now. Well, I don't know if it was meant to be a foundation brush. If it is, I think I prefer my um, optical blurring by Urban Decay, if I'm honest. It's a nice brush. It's just, it feels like it absorbed so much of the product. Like I get more product out of the optical blurring. I'm not mad about it. Like it'll do. It's not a bad brush. Um, I'm definitely excited to try out the rest. That's for sure. Um, and see where it takes us. Um, so the next step, and I've done this before on my channel, so I'm not going to beat about the bush with it. Um, is my eyebrows, and obviously I've done the gluing, but in the past I've used the paper. We have version 2.0 with the plastic. So get that in line. Uh, I always feel like the paper took a lot of the product. <laughs> Two years old today. Probably should throw this out. <laughs> Talk about expired makeup. This definitely was only 24 months and I have barely used it. That's because I've got far too much makeup for, well, me. Um, but it's a pretty... Oh, well. What's this one? Perfect blend. I don't feel like that should be used, but... Oh, well. Um, what's that one? Blurring lines. I... Screw it. It's all about an experiment. So let's go with what we usually use for our eyebrows. Oh, this works so much better than the paper because I can actually attach this on and not fiddle around with moving it. We've just got to hope that the eyebrows look even after this. They should. It should look even. Let's see what this did to the foundation. Well, my eyebrows at least look even. They're not gonna require a lot of thingy. It has picked up a lot of the foundation though, which is, that's okay. We can just re-blend that. See how much time that saved? I don't know why queens don't do this more often. Like seriously. We live and we learn. Never done it before this way, so. We live and we learn. <laughs> it bears repeating. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. It bears repeating. I don't hate you. I love you. I love you all, I swear. Um, it's weird not having music on, but I get in trouble on YouTube and I've already had a warning once. That's a grey hair. Ow. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to get myself in trouble on YouTube again. Um... Let's, ooh, what do we try? I always want to try something new, because I keep seeing queens doing different, like, things with their eyes, but then I'm terrified that I'll do it wrong and I'll look stupid with it, so I don't try, and then I just stick to what I know. Um, <laughs> probably not working for me, if I'm honest, but we'll go with it. So, do you know, I'm looking at this and I'm like, do you know what? It's eight, two years old, so let's at least use it. Um, I forgot to dampen this. I'll be right back. I feel like I need to learn to talk and do makeup at the same time because it's going to be needed for Drag Race. Oh, speaking of Drag Race, season three on at the moment. Season four, auditions have just opened and I have spoken to my work and they have told me I am allowed to apply for Drag Race season four if I, if I want to. And it's being actively encouraged that I apply for season four. And anybody who knows me knows that I'm obviously in the Royal Air Force. Um, I've served for 13 years. I've ju just, uh, just literally just completed 13 years service uh, on the 28th of October. That's a terrifying thought. And yeah, they were encouraging me to go on and apply for RuPaul's Drag Race season four. So any of the production team, if you're watching. Um, it actually is a terrifying thought, like genuinely, which is another one of the reasons I needed to get back into this was because I'm like, I need to practice pre-going on, potentially going on Drag Race, and I want to turn up and be like, well, fuck. 
Um, <laughs> terrifying. Right, we've all practiced our entrance looks, our entrance lines. I know exactly what I want to say, what I want to do. And yeah, the Air Force is actively encouraging me to pursue that, which is obviously amazing because they could turn around and say, no, at the end of the day, I am contracted for 15 years. That's what I've signed uh, to work for them. And they say, no, it's a no, uh, which is obviously why I asked, because um, if I need three weeks off, they're going to be like, why are you asking for three weeks off? What's going on? And then suddenly I'm like, appear on TV, they're going to be like, right, what the F is happening? I messed up my arrow. I'll go back and fill that in in a bit. It's fine. That's the whole point of having the stencil, because at least then you have an outline. And my eyebrow has popped. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think what I might do is because, so I got really, really lucky. Um, with my friend Rachel passing away, um, I got two weeks compassionate leave. And so two weeks off was fantastic, obviously, but for horrible reasons. But because of that, I got really, really lucky. And I managed to get to go see Wicked on the reopening performance um, after 18 months of lockdown. So yeah, that was, that was, honestly, the, nothing is able to describe the atmosphere of that. Literally, Galinda coming in on the bubble and saying, it's good to see me in it, is in it, in it, in it, <laughs> Chavi Galinda, it's good to see me, isn't it? Like, that electric feeling that surrounded the theatre was just something else. Like, nothing will ever compare to that for me, theatre-wise. It's good to see me, isn't it? Um, unless I get to go see an opening show of anything, like, just opening all together. But that was just phenomenal. And because it was the, that iconic line, if it's good to see me, and it's like, frickin' yes, it is, after 18 months. She didn't even deliver the line. I'm pretty sure she didn't, like, I didn't hear her deliver the line. She just comes in on the bubble, and then it's just cheering and cheering and cheering. And then it finally subdues after probably about a minute and a half, and then she just goes, no need to answer, that was rhetorical. And we were like, you asked a question? Like, we didn't even, I didn't hear it, so... Yeah, and the other amazing thing of the performance was, so the little group that was surrounding us, they seemed like really into it. And we were like, oh, these are theatre buffs. Like, they're right, like, really into it. So we were chatting with them. And it turns out they were actually the class of the woman who was playing Elphaba. And it was her first ever show. She was due to take over a week, uh, the week after lockdown kicked in, like right back in March 2020. So she was fitted, she was ready to go, done all her rehearsals, like literally raring to go, and then went, lockdown, never mind. So yeah, it was his, uh, it was his, it was her first ever performance. Um, so that made it that extra special. And then on top of that, it being my partner's first ever time seeing Wicked. So lots of lots of extra specialness. Uh, there is a point behind this. I'm going to go with pink and green makeup because... Pink goes good with green. Um, everybody knows that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with pink and green makeup today. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I, I definitely want to put put it back because I mean that is just such an iconic color. I know everybody hates Jeffrey Star and Shane Dawson. Like I get it, but nobody can deny that the quality of the makeup is phenomenal. Like the artistry that goes into all of it and the planning, it is a it is a journey, like, it is artistry in my eyes. Yes, I don't particularly, or I, not that I don't particularly, I don't agree with a lot of things that the two of them have done and the two of them have been called out for, but at the end of the day, the makeup is still phenomenal, so I can't be mad about it. Oh, that's something else, actually. Let's see if I can talk and work rather than just sitting there talking to you. 
Uh, that's something else, actually. So, whilst I was on my week's holiday for my 30th birthday, uh, anybody who knows me well knows that I like to take my oddball pictures, and I took one for my monthly subscription photo uh, whilst I was on, away on holiday in Wales for my week off for my birthday. On my actual 30th birthday, I took the photo, and I ended up winning a £100 voucher for oddballs, which was really lovely. That is awful. Uh, yeah, so I won this £100 voucher, and because I'm very much of a person of... I like to give back to the people who have supported me through thick and thin, yada, yada, yada. Um, that sounds so insincere when I say it like that. <laughs> um, because I wanted to give back to people who have supported me through basically everything, I decided that what I would do was that I would um, actually use the money and I would buy... Uh, or I put the idea out to people and said, this is what I'm thinking, uh, this is what I want to do, and a lot of people got back to me. And yeah, so I ended up buying, I think, 13 other people, a pair of oddballs each. And it was on the proviso of, right, I'm doing this, but I want you to provide me with a picture of you in them so that I can make a collage, which I haven't done. And just upload it onto my boy Instagram uh, to show off their support and my support of them. What was I saying? Sided. But it's okay. We can recover this. That we cannot recover. <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? It's okay. We still got to do contour and highlight. That will cover up that mistake. You'd think they were the exact same. Nope. One of them's Morphe, the other one's Beauty Bay. <laughs> They're pretty much identical. They are definitely different brushes, never mind.
contouring just work perfectly the first time. I think I'm getting better at contouring. That's for sure. Finally, something's working for me. Do I actually look insane? Definitely look insane. about it if I'm honest considering it's been six months I'm not completely mad at my face right now like it could be a lot better agreed it could be a lot worse agreed but yeah I'm not completely mad about this at all I think I hate and I think this is just because it's like there's nothing really I can do about it without getting Botox is these creases in my forehead because yeah, that's just the way life is. Yeah. I'm not mad about this at all. It was nice just to relax and just chill, really. Uh, yeah, this side is definitely more elevated on the thing. The eyebrows aren't the worst, considering, and I'm pleased with my new mechanism. It's like my eye mask. I will sleep with this. I won't sleep with that because that would be really uncomfortable actually. Am I ready for Drag Race? Probably not. Will I give it my best shot? Definitely will. And yeah. Alright, time to take some photos and take it all off again because that's what we do in this life. Right, I'm gonna go. Bye hunties. This will not pass on Drag Race. Rue and Michelle will pull you apart. Sort it out. I'll do it afterwards. To finish the eye look. Stop getting distracted. <sighs> you cannot do this on Drag Race. I once saw a meme and it said that Disney villains are just people who worked in the service industry too long. And I'm like, ha, truth. <laughs>